Hi, Leo. Welcome back, guys. I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you all so much for your love, your support, and your donations and your patience. Um, and also booking your personal readings with me. I appreciate you all very, very much. I'm sending you a lot of peace, love, happiness, joy, and light on your journey. Um, anything you guys need to know about me is going to be down below in the description box. And please be aware of the fake pages that are on here and on any other social media platforms. Okay. Um... This is going to be for anybody with Leo placements in their chart. You know, flip and switch the roles and just take what resonates. Leave it as a fit for your situation. It's 9-11 on the clock. You guys have been seeing those synchronicities. Okay. So let's tap in, Leo. Let's see. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods and goddesses. Please return any spell work, any dark magic that is being sent to harm the collective and their loved ones. Me and my loved ones return back to the sender. Block any interferences that could be stopped from the messages from coming through. Clear, concise, and precise messages for my Leo collective. Protect me as I channel the messages for Leo. So let's see, Leo. Let's see what's going on, man. Let's see. What's going on for Leo? Okay, so we have mystery, confusion, unclarity. Fear, worry, doubts. What's hidden, the unknown, shadow self. So we have sucker, foolish, victimized. Bottom of the deck is divine connection, miracles, magic, child. Leo, there's like an illusion. Aquarius, you need to go watch Aquarius' reading. Okay, it's coming out more clear in this reading, honey. But Aquarius, I mean, Aquarius is normally have complex readings. And you guys are what? Your sister sounds like your, your polar opposite. So, like, I don't know. But... Oh, let me move it this way. Somebody here, there, somebody's fears and worries and doubts is causing the confusion. Somebody needs to get out of this way of thinking. Okay, it's like fear that is. Let's let's just see. What's mystery? Whatever this fear is, somebody's supposed to be tapping in to figure out where the fear is coming from, why they feel scared, why they feel fearful of whatever this may be. Somebody is scared probably of being a victim again of something or being hurt again, or they feel like they're going to be foolish looking again if they do something. I feel like this is about somebody being scared to take a leap of faith into the unknown due to, yeah, the betrayal. Okay. Somebody needs to do some shadow work. What's mystery? Yeah, eight of wands in reverse. And two, I, you know, I didn't want to say it, but there's like, I got magic and Aquarius is reading towards the end because of the, like when the energy is like that, it's like something crazy going on in the background for me anyway in my readings. There could be somebody that's being cold towards you, Leo, when they're not supposed to be being cold. They're supposed to be like communicating or something like that. I don't know. What's mystery? <laughs> Confusion, unclarity. This energy feels really fucked up. Yeah, four of pentacles, Capricorn. Yeah. Somebody could be holding back on like communication. Something has slowed down between you and someone. Possibly. Um... Come on, this, this Four of Pentacles, it talks about like holding back. First of all, the Eight of Wands in Reverse is negativity. That's like energy being sent out to me or it, it feels like that. But that's, that's negativity. It also talks about missed opportunity, bad timing. 
So something, something could be bad timing. Like something that's not happening right now is being delayed because of what's going on. Whatever this is, somebody's not clear about something. So it's slowing everything down. Somebody, this is like somebody wanting, this is like, it's, I don't know if it's going to be a missed opportunity or not, but the eight of wands in reverse is definitely like a missed opportunity. What, what's that? What's the eight of wands in reverse? Right, the nine of cups in reverse. What's eight of, eight of wands in reverse, nine of cups in reverse? Nine of wands. Sagittarius, moon, Pisces, Jupiter. Sagittarius, uh, Mercury. You guys will be saying nine, nine, nine. Um, not a cup. Somebody is miserable. Whatever this is. This is like an energy of being pessimistic too or overindulging in something. But nine of cups in reverse is like a shattered wish, a dream. It's like somebody haven't even gotten something yet, but they feel like it's already going to be so terrible. And that's what's causing the energy interference. Like if there is somebody that like doing magic or something like that, and if this is what somebody is worried about, this is what's causing a delay. Because the magic is only attacking your fears and your doubts and your worries and shit like that. Like, they only attack, like, your ego. You know what I'm saying? So, if somebody is sitting here like, oh, well, that's not going to work out. I'm going to be fucked up like I was in my last relationship. Or they're going to cheat on me just like the last person did. Or that's what the, the attack is feeding on your fears and your doubts. It's causing a lot of confusion. It's making shit hard. Nine of Wands is like uh, perseverance, success, or well, being close to success. Yeah, something is, somebody is close to something, but it's like then they go into Nine of Cups in reverse. Something is just an ongoing battle, though, with the Nine of Wands. It's like somebody, this is an ongoing battle. Or somebody is persistently trying to keep causing confusion in something. We're going to see when all the cards come out, but I'm just saying, like... It's like every time somebody get close to something, this shit comes. Whatever this shit is. But there is somebody that's like miserable though. Is that out of country reverse? It's like, okay, the Empress. Mm, Taurus Libra. Someone is like miserable. They're like being pessimistic or somebody could have like addictions or something that they need to work on. What's the four of pentacles? The emperor. What's the four of pentacles with the emperor? Aries and the three of swords, child. Here we go with the fuck shit. 9.19 on the clock. So there could be actually a divine masculine in your energy, right? With divine connection being here at the bottom of the deck. There could be a divine masculine that's like holding back from you. <sighs> and it's causing a lot of delays. Somebody here could be trying to hold on to this divine masculine or this is you. One or the other. There's somebody that's trying to hold on to this. I feel like, first of all, I'm getting a mixture of energy, right? Like this person is transitioning or this is you. Somebody's in a transitional phase. So they're kind of trying to learn self-discipline. They're trying to master things about themselves. They could even be trying to save money or like trying to have more control over their impulses and shit like that. But they're being tested as well by their environment, the people around them or whatever the case may be. This third party... The third party could simply just be heartbreak. This person trying to control a situation. Because the emperor, they could be controlling. It just depends on what other cards are surrounding it. Somebody could be even trying to hold on to, to this masculine or you for like money, financial reasons. Because the emperor, when they upright, I mean, they provide structure, structure stability. They're very organized. They're very um, decisive. They're a straight shooter. They're assertive. They take action. Um, they're a supporter of their family, their friends, like... That's what the divine masculine entails. Like, they're divine. 
but there's like with the three of swords somebody's like heartbroken I, I don't know if they're holding on to it or if this third party is holding on to the fact that this masculine is actually stepping into their divine masculine energy whether it be man or woman you or them and they're moving forward somebody's like trying to hold on to somebody to stop them from going towards whatever they need to go towards this person though this could be even this person right like feeling like this person is so stubborn somebody in the collective is really stubborn they want to do shit on their time and when spirit is telling their ass to go and do it now they want to do it on their time and which is causing confusion and setbacks and delays it's like spirit is telling you okay let's do it now we can do it now but they're like no i feel like it's bad timing or this is not right right now and i'm not ready or i'm this and i'm that it's causing a lot of confusion they feel like somebody here could feel like they're not ready due to heartbreak, pain, or whatever the fuck, right? Like, I don't know. But I don't know. Maybe it could be bad timing with all this shit here that's going on. What I'm feeling. It's a lot of shit. Let's see. What's the three of swords? The spirit is telling your ass to do something. Then do it. <laughs> like, what's the three of swords? The queen of cups. Cancer. What's the three of swords, queen of cups? ace of wands okay yeah so so queen of cups so um now that could be a divine feminine or whatever the third party could be somebody's mother somebody's mother could have broken their heart or whatever the case maybe they could have kids with this person Maybe something was just supposed to be sexual with somebody and it went too far. And now somebody's like being vengeful, or trying to hold somebody back or control somebody or whatever the fuck. Right. That's one situation which is causing a lot of confusion. Then I'm getting. Th there's a there's your actual like divine mass in your energy. They're holding back from you. They're trying to control the situation with you. and You're just sitting here in heartbreak. Everybody is heartbroken in this situation. But you have a new opportunity coming towards you. Like you have a new offer. They're getting ready to miss an opportunity with you if they don't open up. They're not wanting to share. They're not wanting to share. They're really closed off. And I feel like you have your cup of love. You could be waiting for this person. Like you're you're ready to like um give them an offer per se or like express your emotions or you want to kind of like nurture them in the connection. But this three of swords is here. Like, they've broken your heart already in a certain way. And now they don't want to open up and, like, they're not doing something that they're supposed to be doing because out of fear, I guess. They're, they're, they're doubting that you're going to forgive them or something like that. So they're holding back. And I feel like Ace of Wands, I feel like, you know, you could be ready to indulge in the connection, but they're not. <laughs> Is what I'm getting. It's like... Whatever the, whatever the interference is or whatever the third, there could be a third party that did something or whatever this heartbreak, this pain is really got somebody like stuck or in fear about coming t toward you. Okay. And I already feel like you could be a healer. You could be psychic. You already feel this already. And you're, you're very mature. So you're emotionally stable enough to kind of like hear this person out, talk and work through certain things. I don't know. I feel like they're just being controlling. They're holding back. But you could be, like I said, presented with new opportunities. <laughs> the Ace of Wands. So I feel like something is, it's, I don't know, something is happening. It's like things are like colliding. Like you're going to end up in a new situation and this person going to be still sitting back, holding back, and they're going to get their heart broken because they're not taking action. They're causing like delays due to like fear and uncertainty and all that. Yeah, waiting, waiting for what? Two of Wands, Three of Pentacles, Five of uh, Pentacles. This could be you actually that's waiting. Two of Wands, Three of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles. You could be waiting for something, like for this person or whatever the fuck. But I feel like you're trying to make a decision here. Two of Wands is like choosing between two paths as well. There could be something coming in. Two of Wands, Three of Pentacles, and a Five of Pentacles. You're going to end up leaving somebody out in the cold because there's a new partnership that's coming in. And you're, you're going to... You've learned from your past mistakes. You're going to have a partnership. Somebody that's going to be willing to put in the effort, the time, the energy. And it's going to, somebody's going to get left out in the cold because of it. Is what it sounds like to me, I swear. 
Listen. Like all this fear and shit like that. Somebody trying to make somebody miss out on an opportunity or this is they ass doing it to them damn selves. Okay? Because their own fairies. I said fairies. Their own fucking fears and doubts and worries. And this shit coming in fast, too. Ace of Cups, Knight of Swords. Like, somebody is coming in fast. This could be a new person or this is just a new opportunity somewhere. I don't know how this situation is going. But I'm saying, though. Like, I don't know. They want to hold on to you, but they're not being clear about what it is that they want or whatever. Like, something is unhealthy about them. Their shadow self. They need to They need to do this. They need to work on that. Or this is you. Child. This person. What's, what's the emperor? Yeah. Three of Pentacles in reverse. Exactly. Somebody's not learning. Somebody's not learning. Okay, three of pentacles in reverse. Somebody not learning from their past mistakes or not putting in the effort, the time. This and you're maturing, you're growing emotionally, like your emotions are you're emotionally mature. I feel like you care about this person though. You damn you love them, you're passionate about them, but they broke your heart and they need to fucking own up to it. I'm so sick of seeing that shit. Like this person needs to say what the fuck they want and what they don't want. All this fear and shit like that. And I get it though. People be fucked up. Some people not going to be ready to do what you be ready to do, right? So, I mean, child, whatever the fuck. <laughs> I don't really, I don't know, man, but somebody not putting in the effort, though. They're being lazy or something. Three of Pentacles in reverse is like, They feel like a failure or they feel like they don't have the confidence to even put in the work or whatever. Like, it's something like that. And all they're doing is breaking your heart even further because now you, you're probably looking at them different. Like, bro, get your shit together, man. Get your fucking shit together. What is fear, worry, doubts? What is this? Or they holding back, like I said, due to a third party. Yeah, the sun, Leo energy, that's you. What's fear, worry, doubts with the sun? Four cups. Or this could be another Leo doing this shit. Cancer moon. Somebody could be fearing something getting exposed or something like that. But it, the sun is the masculine energy. So this could be a man that's like this. I feel like somebody fears that another side of them is going to be exposed. Like... Something could have came to light about someone that's making them be in this energy of like uh, that fear. Like I said, but something could have been exposed to where so like it's spirit is going to test you or this person to see if you're going to push through the pain. Like you're going to actually heal and don't fall victim and stay victim to whatever it is that hurt you or whoever it is that hurt you. It's like somebody, you make someone happy or they something here could provide happiness or well somebody got to be happy within themselves first that's why whatever this is right here is being exposed in order for them to like work on it or you to work on it but i feel like somebody makes someone happy but they're ignoring it like four of cups is like discontentment dissatisfaction like um being apathetic acting like you don't give a fuck but you really do Something is at a stalemate. It's like somebody is focused on their past. There's a new opportunity sitting right in front of someone's face, but they're not accepting it. What's the sun? King of... Oh, I was about to say, I was about to say King of Swords. It's Page of Swords. Um, What's the sun with the Page of Swords? King of Wands in reverse. Child. I'm also getting, Leo, somebody could be discontent with the fact that you're happy. Like, I feel like, I don't know, somebody's energy is more vibrant, more um, 
it's like you're being seen. It's like you're popping out. And somebody's biggest fear is seeing you happy or or like they, they would rather you be in a stressful state of mind than for you to be actually like happy and enjoying your time. Somebody could be watching you. Page of Swords with the Sun. Or somebody has gained some sort of information here. And it's causing a lot of fear, doubts, and worries. I don't know. But this King of Wands in reverse, I don't like them. They're very bitter. They're jealous. They could be very competitive. This is somebody that's lazy. They're, they're refusing to be assertive and take action or take the lead. So it's like, I mean, what do they expect you to do? This could be you and the Emperor energy holding back. Because this person here, they broke your heart. Like, I feel like you still love them. You care about them. But you're not going to be sitting here waiting for them to get their shit together. Like, I don't fucking know. <laughs> I wish people like get their shit like they need to get it together for real. The shit is redundant. It's repetitive. I've been away for five days. I ain't posting five days and here we go. <laughs> I feel like somebody wanna reach out to you or say like be direct about something, but they're not taking action to do it. So you could be this could be you and your masculine energy setting boundaries. They're not putting in the time, the effort, and you're not going to put in the time, the effort either. So there's that, you know, like not even being on a tit for tat shit. Cause I feel like somebody is grown. We don't got time for the tit for tat, but I'm saying like, what's the King of Wands in reverse? Who is that? The death card in reverse Scorpio here. And we have the eight of cups upright. Yeah. So I feel like this is somebody, there's somebody here that's not changing their ways. That's card in reverse. Somebody is refusing to change their ways or let you go. But that's what I'm saying. They don't want to let you go, but they don't want to change their ways either. So I feel like you walked away from this person or whatever the case, because somebody is not emotionally satisfied. This is a mess. <laughs> okay. Child, I don't even know what to say, Leo. I just feel like this person, whoever this is, they're not changing. King of Wands in reverse, they refuse to take action. That's my main thing here. They're refusing to step up and take the lead. This person is very egotistical. They feel like they know everything. This could be somebody that's like bitter. That's like resenting something from their, or someone from their past. And it's causing conflict between you and them. You know, like it could be as simple as that. What's... Yeah, the truth. Ace of Swords. What's the page of swords right here? All this person does is watches you. Like, all they do is watch you. Yeah, two of pentacles. What's the page of swords, two of pentacles? Four of wands. I feel like something mainly, though, something has been exposed to someone about... Maybe people in their community, their family, okay, maybe even somebody they were married to or whatever. Something going on in their environment or yours or is getting ready to come out if it hasn't. I feel like they were already indecisive. Now they're even more indecisive because now they they seen what they seen. And it's like, this person, somebody got really bad trust issues or something. Um... Something is hurting somebody's ego. This person here could be watching you because the Four of Wands talks about a celebration. The Two of Pentacles and the Four of Wands, I feel like you're being open, you're being flexible, you're adapting to your uh, the, the changes that you're going through, your surroundings. You could be meeting new people in a community. This could be you achieving a goal here. I feel like you're celebrating yourself. The Four of Wands is a celebration. Two of Pentacles, I feel like um, somebody could be trying to make a decision on a home, like which home to choose. Okay, so congrats, because I feel like you won't, you won't figure it out. <laughs> Maybe you need more information, page of swords, like get more information and do your research. But the two of pentacles is like you balancing. This is like you having some sort of balancing act here. Okay. I feel like you're coming into some sort of balance here and you're ready to celebrate your achievements. And somebody, all somebody's doing is like watching you. They, they don't, you know, maybe it's not that they don't like the fact that you're happy. Maybe it's just a simple fact, like 
they don't know how to fix the situation between you two. So all they do is watch you. And now they see that you're going out, you're having fun or whatever. And it's just like, I don't know. Like, I don't know what their problem is. Why they're not, why they're not taking action. I feel like you had to walk away from them for that particular reason. Or it could be just like I said, as bad as this person, like somebody is bitter, they're hateful. It could be that, that bad for some of you, not everybody. But I'm saying though, one or the other, it's got to be one or the other. <laughs> and, uh, you know, they're refusing to like change or let something go. They're refusing to let you go, but they don't want to like, yeah, the lover's the devil. <laughs> Three of cups, what? The eight of swords. Then we have the five of wands right there. The lovers, the devil, the three of cups, and the eight of swords. Somebody could have a sex addiction here, or like they drink too much, or they, they party too much, they overindulge. Um, there could be somebody that's watching you have a good time. They're obsessed with you. It's like they don't want you to do that. <laughs> they, they, they like tripping, okay? Or this is somebody on their end doing it. Um... This is a this is a mess. Okay, there's a lot of fear here, obsession from somewhere. Like they like the card said, worry, doubts, whatever. Five of wands, six of wands. What? There could be a lot of people that's like competing for a spot with you, or they. I don't know. Because you can have a lot of suitors or a lot of people want to fuck with you. <laughs> and somebody is not like, they're not feeling that. I feel like you you going out and like celebrating yourself is going to cause somebody to, I don't know if they're going to speak up or what the fuck they're going to do. Or they're just going to sit in your energy like that and they're going to miss an opportunity. That's what I'm getting. Just period. Just period. Yeah, they're taking a sweet ass time doing whatever the fuck this is. I don't know. It's not going to work out too well for them. This person, yeah, the emperor is here. Knight of Wands, the Justice. Mm -hmm. There could be somebody too. Something about a best friend could be significant. Somebody, Five of Swords in Reverse. Somebody here could have gotten exposed for juggling. That could be, this masculine here could have gotten betrayed, like, really bad. So, that's probably why. But, I mean, you know, speak up about it. Like, yeah, I've been betrayed. I've been hurt. Somebody did whoop, whoop, bit to me. And I don't, I'm scared to move forward. Somebody needs to express that to you instead of having you waiting. Like, I don't know if they're waiting for a good time to speak up or what the fuck they're doing. But something could have happened in regards to this masculine in their friend group or people in their community. Maybe in the somebody that they were sleeping with. This could be like their baby mom or something like that or whatever the fuck. And somebody is getting information on the fact that she or he, somebody was juggling. And this is something that they probably are having a hard time letting go is what I'm getting to another story. But what's what's the uh what's this four cups right here? Seven of Swords in reverse. Yeah, something came out. Something has been revealed. Or somebody needs to confess something, but they, they are scared to do it. Like, they're moving slow as fucking molasses. Aquarius Moon here. What's this Four of Cups with the Seven of Swords in reverse? The Chariot in reverse. Yeah, that's like not having a sense of direction. Like a blockage. Something being blocked. Mm. there could be a masculine too that they, maybe they really don't feel like it's a good time because there's somebody in their energy trying to block them from coming towards you possibly somebody is rejecting or ignoring someone else it could be a third party that somebody's rejecting or ignoring 
or they feel rejected or ignored, they're blocked from coming forward or coming towards you or whatever the case. Either this is your third party or this is person. Or the third party, like I said, could be fear. I don't know. Just take it how it resonates. But I don't know. It looks like, to me, the King of Cups, the Magician, and the Hierophant, somebody getting ready to miss out on something. Okay, that, that's what it looked like to me because I feel like you're manifesting a stable and secure lover. Okay, with the King of Cups and the Magician here with the Hierophant. I feel like you're manifesting a stable connection. So somebody is getting left out, whoever the fuck it is. Somebody's going to be sad. It's going to be a sad day for their ass, for sure. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. For some of you, this could be new. It could be new. The Queen of Cups and the King of Cups is here. So I feel like you're you're that Queen of Cups or whoever it is that's like open and ready for something. I feel like you're going to have to do something that's probably going to break your heart too. But it's just like, you know, I feel like you're already heartbroken. And you're just sitting here kind of like suffering a bit because you're wanting somebody to communicate with you or do something and they're not. That's what I'm saying. The Strength card, the King of Swords nine of swords and the damn seven of cups it's like somebody's being aloof or nonchalant or they're acting like they don't give a fuck this person is in their head too much could be gemini aquarius scorpio Le another leo i don't know but this person they're overthinking they didn't already overthunk themselves into a funk okay that rhyme <laughs> but i'm saying like and they're confusing themselves it's just too much confusion here it's too much confusion and you're just like okay well i don't know man but what's hidden right here the unknown shadow so what's that wow okay the swords in reverse Somebody is not being their true authentic self they're not telling the truth they're lying they're lying about something they're not speaking up Child, could be an Aquarius. What's hidden with the unknown in the shadow self with the King of Swords in reverse? Somebody is oppressive. They're like, they want things to go their way. Whoever this is is very stubborn. They're they're oppressing or suppressing or whatever. It could be both their feelings or how they feel or what they need to say. Yeah, Ten of Swords. About a betrayal. And I feel like you're headed quickly to um, wish fulfillment with the star. This is like a good omen, uh, positivity, inspiration. I feel like you're healing. You can ready to go into a new damn cycle. I don't know. Somebody, um, so Ten of Swords, there was some sort of betrayal or an abrupt ending. Somebody's not being real with themselves about how hurt they are about a situation this person is very cold what's the king of swords in reverse they don't yeah the knight of pentacles in reverse what's king of swords in reverse knight of pentacles in reverse virgo queen of pentacles what is all these different people <laughs> that's what i'm saying like what the fuck um, so this person here, for some of you, this could be somebody here that's lying to you or lying about somebody that's in their energy that's superficial or the fact that they, because the King of Swords in Reverse could talk about somebody where they, somebody's judgment is off. They make irrational decisions, but they don't want to admit that they made a, a stupid decision in, in regards to someone. This Knight of Pentacles in Reverse is somebody that is... um. I'm also getting a separate situation too now. Divine feminine, because you're um, well, you could be the Queen of Cups. You're not really something, something could have involved you and your child's father. This person is lying about a lot. They did a lot behind your back. And um it's forcing them to look at themselves in the mirror, but they don't want to do the work. Okay, they continue to uh, be controlling the king of swords in reverse is very manipulative they could be very controlling and um even borderline abusive they've done a lot behind your back here and they don't want to admit it that could be the case too and they see that you're not giving a fuck you're moving on with your life so the story can go all kind of ways but knight of pentacles in reverse is somebody that's weak they're a loser they're a deadbeat here 
Okay. Um, somebody that's superficial, materialistic. So this person, this King of Swords, could be lying to you about this. Or lying to themselves about the fact that they got stuck here and they, they pretend like they're happy and they're not. But either way, though, that Knight of Pentacles in reverse is someone that's superficial. They could also be somebody's a workaholic, like they work a lot. They don't want, they're working, they're overworking themselves to forget about something that they have to deal with. And I feel like, you know, let me see, what's the Queen of Pentacles? Who is that? Okay, yeah, Eight of Swords. You know, I mean, on one end, I can see this as this being you. Like you've been wait, wait, patiently waiting for this person to speak up but they're not doing it they don't they don't want to speak up or something like that or they don't want to be real <laughs> you know so it's been keeping you stuck kind of but this could also be them that they're stuck with somebody they're stuck overworking themselves to take care of someone okay like Somebody here is stuck with some sort of like gold digger. They're stuck trying to take care of somebody or their mama, their baby mama, whatever the fuck. But somebody feels restricted or stuck. Or the, the eight of swords, like I said, this could be where they feel fear and they're scared of being used for their finances or for what they can provide. Or they're worried like this last situation that they've been in going to be y'all too or something. Because the eight of swords feeling like... It talks about like having your hands tied, feeling restricted or being a victim of something. Yeah. So, child, what's the Ten of Swords? The Five of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, Five of Pentacles. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? My cat just staring at me, pluck my cards, like shuffle my cards. <laughs> Okay, Justice, so we got Libra. Mm. There could be a divorce taking place. Somebody's going through some sort of divorce or a court situation. They could be now in the Five of Pentacles. Somebody could be trying to build their money back up after this divorce or whatever the case may be. Something hurt somebody really bad though, but the justice talks about fairness. It talks about equality. Taking accountability. Somebody getting left out in the cold or somebody... I feel like this is another situation that they're going through. But they're acting like they don't give a fuck about it. It's like they're sitting in regret or pain or something like that. And all they could do is watch you move forward. It's just like, bro, I don't... Mm. I feel like it was justified for you to leave somebody out in the cold. Now, if this is a malicious person, you left their ass out in the cold and they've been doing shit behind your back ever since to kind of like make themselves feel better or look better and to not take accountability for what they did. But now I feel like they're going to have to pay. They're, they're Now they're paying for something that they did. If this is a malicious person. Um, but it was justified for you to leave, even if they weren't malicious, it was justified for you to leave somebody out in the cold in order for them to, I guess, deal with whatever this is or whatever. But yeah, five of cups, the hangman. Somebody needs to release and let go of some sort of pain. Like somebody needs a really good cry or something. You had every right to leave somebody out in the cold though. And all they've been doing is suppressing and oppressing. Like something about someone's shadow aspect is coming out yeah because you're the empress here you definitely help people transform somebody here could have made you like yeah they made you a victim of something but do i feel like it's you that's sitting in this shit no i feel like you're just moving on with your life you've healed or whatever it's them they're marrying you're marrying back to them what they need to work on internally 
and they don't want to do it. <laughs> They're having a hard time doing that shit. What sucker? Foolish victimized. Knight of Cubs. What sucker? Foolish victimized. Seven of Cups. Mm. I honestly, this honestly feels like it's you that's moving forward. <laughs> you're, you're, you can have a date or offer coming in here with the Knight of Cups. You can have a lot of suitors actually. Like you have a lot of people that want to be with you or be around you or whatever the case may be. Well, this Knight of Cups here, this talks about following your heart. This could be a romantic gesture, an offer, a proposal of some sort. Okay, let's see. What's the Knight of Cups here? Page of Cups. Yeah. What's the Knight of Cups, Page of Cups? Two of Cups in reverse. So either this could be an apology. Somebody could be trying to come in to apologize to you. You could be in separation from this person or you broke up with them. Okay. Um, Two of Cups in reverse though talks about incompatibilities. Um, That could even be like an abusive relationship as well. But two people that there's a rocky relationship you have, you can have a child with somebody with this person. They could like want to apologize or they're trying to like appear. They're trying to show up in a different way. Like, I don't know. Because maybe they don't know how to apologize. I don't know. I feel like that shit is an excuse though. You grown as hell. Why the fuck? What you mean? <laughs> mm hmm. Or like it's like somebody trying to play innocent, like they ain't did shit. You know what I'm saying? That's that's the shit that be pissing me off, man. They trying to play innocent, like they ain't did nothing or whatever, or trying to be like they're shy or like intimidated a little bit or like they're just timid. I don't know. Somebody feels foolish though for something that they did. They want to apologize or something. So I don't know. This could be an apology coming in, or. You're just maybe going to feel that energy coming from them like they want to apologize, but mm -hmm. I'm also getting though, somebody feels stupid because you broke up with them or you left them behind, y'all in separation or whatever the fuck, but you're going to date. Like there's offers that could be coming in. You got a lot of people that want to fuck with you or whatever. And, you know, somebody's going to feel stupid. What's the seven of cups? It's like, I'm getting like the one that got away, literally. Yeah, the ten of pentacles. What's seven of cups, ten of pentacles? Like, I feel like the Seven of Cups, too, is like fantasizing, wishing, dreaming. What's Seven of Cups, Ten of Pentacles? The Lovers. Wow. Yeah. Uh, you know, Leo, I really do feel, yeah, Ace of Cups, King of Cups, the, the uh, Temperance, the Six of Swords. I, what I feel from this really is that you have a lot of options coming through. Uh, that's for one, okay? Somebody feels like you're the one that got away. It could be multiple people feeling like that, to be honest. Somebody here that abused you for some of you or they acted the damn fool. And then you got other people. I just feel like it's a lot of energies that's like that right now. And oh, well. Oh, well. But uh, it's like, I feel like you're saying with the Seven of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, the lovers. I feel like you're saying like, okay, I got options. One of these people out here is for me. You feel me like it's somebody that's for me because I've worked too hard on myself to not have, you know what I'm saying? Like there's, there's somebody out here that's for me. So I feel like what you're doing is manifesting, you're daydreaming, you're fantasizing about what it is that you want to come into fruition and you're going to go out there and I don't know if you're dating or whatever the fuck you're doing, but I just know that if you seeing that there's incompatibilities between you and whoever, then that's what it is. And you're going to go out there and get your Ten of Pentacles. I feel like you're... You could be confused about who your Ten of Pentacles could be. You could have multiple choices in love. But I feel like, you know, if it's not showing up in the 3D, then it ain't fucking... It's not what it is. Like, you can have a 5D connection with somebody, but they're not showing you with their actions that they want to put in the time, the effort, the energy. I feel like you're not settling. That's the thing. And these people, they're going to be looking stupid 
when you kind of like move forward with your life and that's just what it is that's what i'm getting like you didn't work hard on yourself you're emotionally your heart is open you're ready for something real and i feel like you've been waiting patiently or you've been kind of like putting your time and effort and energy into things that have not been your vibrational match like so you know it's just I feel like you're over it. I feel like you're over something and you're moving forward. And now people are showing up in your energy as if they, it's like people need to do their shadow work for one, especially this King of Swords in reverse, whoever it is. I feel like both of them, your baby daddy could be holding on to you. Then you got somebody else you probably dated that's holding on to you. Then I don't know. This could be all one energy, but child, let me, let me, it's just like, no, everybody need to get the fuck on. What, what's this spirit so we have ghosting exactly non-existent cut off no warning then we have bus in here it says tasty amazing no complaints <laughs> what else then we have salty spiteful dramatic jealousy so like I said, I, I was getting that. I'm getting somebody here ghosted you. This could be your actual divine masculine, right? Because you could have a twin or whatever the fuck that's in karmic energy. But they ghosted you to go. They thought that they was going to not have no complaints somewhere else. Or like somebody, I don't know. But I feel like they hate it over there. And they're dealing with somebody that's now salty, bitter, dramatic, and jealous. They ghosted you for this. For for to go have sex with somebody or something like that. Like they, they, they had a sweet tooth. They wanted to be fulfilled in different ways, I guess, or whatever. So they got exactly what they wanted. Cause I feel like what you wanted was you was going sexually please this person, but you want a real connection. Like, I'm not just going to keep fucking on you and you're not giving me, you're giving me the bare minimum. Like, no, they, they wanted to settle for that. So that's what they got. That's what the fuck they got. So, okay. Now somebody here wants to have a real conversation. They want to have a heart to heart deep conversation or in person or whatever because something over there has been exposed <laughs> so they want to come back okay so that's that that's what i was picking up on over there with that situation and it's confusing you it's causing confusion what else you don't know what's going on over there that person they ghosted you or whatever the fuck and that's <laughs> okay we have yo-yo here backtrack revisit another chance exactly detach surrender with the flow ego death what else and then we have spicy lust temptation fantasize exactly sneaky link side piece on the low one night down to fuck single free spirit many options <laughs> detox purge release reset toxic two-faced trauma bonding conflict of interest this is what i'm saying like this is some bullshit And I feel like these people, or if this is one person, them seeing you going out like that. Yeah, look, knocked up, entanglement, third wheel. Somebody here got betrayed. Somebody here got, whoever they fucked with got pregnant on their ass. <laughs> they got pregnant on them and now they, they don't know, they tripping. It's like I lost the best thing that could ever happen to me due to me dealing with these damn hoes. And that's what happens when you want to choose these hoes. So whatever. You feel me? Like, this shit is, this shit, I know personally, I'm tired of this shit. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I don't, like, reading on it, I don't want to hear that shit. It is what the fuck it is. Especially if you gonna sit up here and not take accountability. And act like ain't shit happened or you ain't dead shit or, oh, I know. Why the fuck you don't know how to, like, talk? Talk! What the fuck? Like, girl, boy, whatever. But, so, let's see. What's Yo-Yo? So now somebody's scared. Okay, retreat in reverse. Introspection, hermit, figuring it out. Yeah, in reverse. So somebody here wants to backtrack, but like I said, they're not doing the inner work. Somebody's not doing the inner work here. They haven't introspected. They haven't did anything. They just want to backtrack and act like ain't shit happened. So what's detach? Risk it all. Leap of faith, no regrets, new endeavors. What's detach? I feel like that's more so you. What's detach with risk it all? Yeah, wine and dine. I feel like that's your ass. <laughs> okay, dating, meaningful, and consistent. That's what you're doing. You're detaching from all of the fuck shit and you are dating or you getting ready to run into somebody, the love of your life or whatever the fuck this is, okay? That's what I feel like that's what you're doing. 
Yeah, and people are watching you. They're lurking and they fake woke. They haven't done the inner work or whatever the fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is a mess. What's spicy? Lust, temptation, fantasize. Okay, bae. <laughs> Boo thing, new love, flirting, and it's above me. Nonchalant, moving on, last straw. Yeah, I feel like you've had it up to here with somebody's ass. Like, I'm serious. I'm serious. You could be meeting somebody that you're going to be calling bae or that's like you're going to have this sexual chemistry with somebody. And you're saying it's above me to these old situations here. Like that could be the case. But I'm saying like, let's see what else. <laughs> so we got sneaky link side piece on the low. One night, caught up, I, infidelity, uncontrollable, play victim, <laughs> and shade, disrespect, body language, insult, child. What's shade? What the fuck? Vacay. <laughs> Somebody could actually be going on a vacation <laughs> with shade and vacay. I'm just getting like a sunny place. You're going to be under the shade, like you're on the beach and you're going to be with your with your big umbrella and shit like that y'all could be traveling but um it's a travel new city one way what shade here with ak sus suspicious sketchy in the closet <laughs> i feel like you could be a divine masculine man or woman it says zaddy here divine masculine assertive yang it's lit living life good vibes in the moment and body yadi gaining weight physical changes self-love and bye felicia I, yeah goodbye lesson learned and next i feel like that's you getting ready to embrace your singlehood and when you do that i feel like you're going to meet somebody it could be new or whatever but it's a brick wall, guarded, defensive, hesitant, and OD, excessive, overdoing it, and hoard. Like, somebody here is blocked from your energy, or they can't really be with you because they're so guarded, they're defensive, and they could have addiction issues. Somebody could be on pills. I see a lot of pills here. But, you know, it doesn't have to be. It's like they're overindulging in certain things that's not in alignment with you and what you're trying to do. You feel me? So, I feel like you're just releasing all that shit. You're just moving on. In sync, angel numbers, synchronicities, nature signs, pop up, secret, surprise visit, plot twists, and bands, luxury, final things, investments, period. So I don't know. I just feel like you're getting ready to embrace yourself and not deal with whatever this is. Somebody here got a situation going on. What's this? Okay, EBT, financial struggle, deficit, and faking it. So somebody faking. I don't know when this card came out. I don't know. I'm putting it back because I don't know when this card came out, but. Somebody's throwing shade. There's a lot of people that's throwing shade because you're having fun. Like they like you forgot all about them. I feel like you don't give a fuck. That's what I'm saying. Like, what the fuck? You expect me to sit here and wait for you to do what? Waste my motherfucking time? Bitch, I don't care. What's 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 going on? What else? So I can go. Curve. Deny rejected the runner. Knocked up came out. Pregnancy children unexpected. And faded. High, drunk, yeah, bad habits, disconnected. Uh, so, yeah, like I said, there's a situation here, probably with your divine counterpart. If you do have a divine connection somewhere, this person got betrayed and now they're scared to come towards you. So, that's one thing. That's a whole other thing that they got to be figured out because it's like, well, are you going to fuck up this relationship because you're scared? Or are you going to do the inner work so that way we can kind of like be together? Which one? Because don't nobody got time to be sitting there waiting on on you and what the fuck. You know what I'm saying? I get that you've been hurt or whatever. But don't penalize me for what somebody else did. They ain't got shit to do with me. So that's one That's one thing. They got Somebody got pregnant on their ass or whatever the fuck. Okay. Then you got other people here. I just feel like they're throwing you shade. And 
the third party could be throwing of your divine counterpart could be throwing you shade too everybody just throwing you shade because you don't give a fuck like you're moving on with your life and i feel like you're just minding your business you're having fun and you know there's people trying to get back in your energy is what it feel like to me that's all it is There could actually be a masculine that's coming towards you that has went through something like that, but they're not letting it define their future, like, or y'all relationship. And that's a real masculine. That's a real divine masculine. Like, this person, they're very mentally and emotionally strong. They're very resilient. So, it's like, they, they can sit and do what they need to do to heal, and they ready for something else. You feel me? Because, I mean, who the fuck? Everybody finna be sitting around crying about you, bitches, and your fucking lack of self-control and self-awareness. Like, that's on you, hoes. It's like, don't nobody got time to be doing all that shit. That's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like the energy of you not giving a fuck no more. That's what it is. And you've healed. You've done what you needed to do. It's kind of like, you know, I'm just moving on. Don't don't expect me to sit and wait for you to apologize. Like, if you don't... I just feel like, why, why though? If, if you fucked up, why don't you apologize? Why does somebody got to wait for you to apologize? No, bitch. Apologize for what the fuck you did and mean it. Make your actions change. And maybe that's why somebody is not say anything to you or they scared because they don't want to change that behavior it's like so they're doing a respectable thing five 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 i just saw on the timer five 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 maybe that's what it is like well i don't want to change i want to be single so i'm not going to apologize just yet until i can change my behavior and that's respectable so just stay your ass over there and get out of my energy okay <laughs> like that's easy people play too much they play too fucking much and i just feel like that's what this is okay just period so however the situation is going flip the roles but this is your reading leo i hope this reading resonated for you okay like comment subscribe make sure you guys turn your notification bell on press the all button so you won't miss any of my readings and i'll talk to you all later bye